Remember what I'm saying about dual purpose? Property owners can buy or sell, right? So, you're, so they, they can do either. They're not just one dimensional. They're a two dimensional prospect. Secondly, you don't have to educate them as much as like a first time home buyer. They're already owners. They already know all the ins and outs of ownership. Property taxes, insurance, utilities, maintenance, upkeep, all that, all that stuff. They don't have to be educated. And you have the opportunity for one of a, two different kinds of transactions to represent them as a buyer or a seller. This is like, to me, this is by far. These guys, property owners, are the only prospect that I'm going to go after. Um, I mean, let's talk about buyers and sellers real quick. I, most of my stuff is listings. But I do a lot of buyers too, and I love buyers. And I'm a single agent. I show all my own properties. I don't have a buyer's agent. I do all the work. Um, but here's the difference. When I focus on property owners, and I'm going after them just to see what I can do to help them, not to see if they want to buy or sell, to see what I can do to help them. What ends up happening is, when I get a buyer, since I don't pay for leads, and I don't get a bunch of buyer leads coming in, and I'm not spinning my wheels trying to help all these internet leads when i get a buyer i'm excited because i don't get very many and they're very high quality property owners or referrals from property owners or your sphere of influence all the different ways you can get buyers except for paying for leads it, they're very high quality i have to be in the, the most efficient state of uh, business as i possibly can so i'm excited when i get a buyer because I only show property maybe, mm, I may show property two to six times a month, something like that. So we know that closings happen every day, prospects are unlimited, um, we know that conversation is the key to all closings, we know that we want to talk to property owners, okay, so how do we do that? We're going to call. Cold calling, circle prospecting, and prospecting. Now, a lot of people like to door knock. I've never door knocked, so I can't attest to that. I know a lot of people have success. Real estate is all about figuring out what works for you, okay? And then once you figure out what works for you, then you, you crush that, okay? This is what works for me, and I'm always in my mind trying to figure out how to be more efficient and do more and be better. Okay? It's not like I figured out the formula and that's it. I'm always trying to perfect it. It's like my phone scripts. They've come a long way and I'm still trying to figure out ways to make it better. So the last question on the worksheet, what are some of your fears of cold calling? Take about 20 seconds and jot down a couple answers for me. Give me some. No reason to call. There's always a reason to call. Always a valid reason. What you got? It takes time. Like, you have to take time to do it. Okay. What else are you going to do? Do you do anything that doesn't take time? I want to know what doesn't take time. Okay. What's that? Okay. Rejection. Guys, it all boils down to, it's like I said, mindset. We're killing ourselves. It's just in your mind, right? You're assuming, yes, ma'am. Okay, I thought you were... You're just saying hi. You're assuming what the result's going to be, right? You have all these preconceived thoughts about how the call is going to go, 
Because you don't like to get called by people you don't know. So you're thinking, uh, they're not going to like hearing from me. I hear this all the time. People that I help learn how to cold call, they start out very scared. They, after they do it for a while, they tell me they're addicted to it. Because people are so nice. Yeah, you'll have some people hang up on you. Who cares? Right? Some people that are mean. But see, the thing is, is if you don't make the calls, you have zero chance of the business. Right? But if you make the calls, there's a chance. It's all about conversations. So if you know everything I just told you through reverse engineering ourselves, inserting ourselves into a closing, then why not just have as many conversations as you can possibly have with property owners? If you know they're the highest quality prospect, you know conversation is the key, right? Why not just do it? 